When taking SARMs, couldn't enclomiphene just not work due to the anabolic response? So I, I can see why someone would be concerned about this. So in a way, enclomiphene and SARMs, they compete with each other. So SARMs promote endogenous testosterone suppression and enclomiphene promotes endogenous testosterone production. So it would make sense why some people think that they just kind of cancel each other out. But that's not quite how it works. So SARMs by themselves, if cycled for sensible durations, result in a net anabolic outcome despite the testosterone suppression. So the androgen receptor activity from the SARMs outweigh the decreased androgen receptor activity from the reduction in exogenous testosterone. Then if you stack the enclomiphene concurrently, depending on the dosage of the SARM and the enclomiphene, you're either going to mitigate some of the testosterone suppression, mitigate all of the testosterone suppression, or even achieve a, a higher than baseline level of testosterone. And the more androgenic activity, the higher the anabolism. So the higher your testosterone while on a SARM, the more anabolic you will be. And yes, of course, there are diminishing returns at play. So enclomiphene plus a SARM will not be as anabolic as a SARM in isolation plus enclomiphene in isolation. But it is certainly worth it for me to implement enclomiphene alongside any SARM I take because suppressing testosterone comes with the risk of many side effects during the SARM cycle, including cholesterol issues, cognitive deficits, motivation depletion, and sexual dysfunction, plus the risk of endogenous testosterone remaining below baseline after you discontinue the SARM. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus Chi Chi. It is in the description below.